Hi, this is Michelle of Two Gals and a Dog. Recently, we visited Southern Arizona, specifically the Bisbee and Tombstone, Arizona area. We discovered Desert Oasis RV Campground, a good SAM campground. Let's listen to owner Paul tell us about this unique laid-back campground. <laughs> so I came here for one week, actually four years ago last week, and I haven't left. It's been four years. And I fell in love with this place. I came here and I parked in that first site right there. Yeah. And the people who were in charge of the park <coughs> had broken down lawnmowers and everything else was broken. Okay. And I said, if I'm going to stay here, I want to clean this up. Can I borrow a lawnmower or something like that? And they said, why would you do that? I said, because I, I want it presentable if I'm going to stay here. Mm -hmm. So I started cleaning it up. And after a while, they uh, told the owner, why don't you hire this guy as a work camper? and he's probably going to be good. So I stayed on, and then when the owner passed away, he left the park to myself and his sister-in-law, and I bought the sister-in-law out. Be what have you done since you've owned it? Well, ooh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. He came just, and he thought he conquered. <laughs> good, let's hear it. Just uh, painting some of the buildings and scraping them down and cleaning up the debris, um, clearing out some of the mesquites so people can actually see the place now. It doesn't look as run down. There was um, this park basically uh, opened in 2007, and they didn't have any equipment here other than manpower and a little riding lawnmower. So uh, I've gone out. I've got a tractor now. I've got necessary equipment to make it a little bit easier, so I can make improvements. And you know, the fences were there, but they were so dull and drab, they look terrible. So we started painting everything. We painted the sheds, we painted the cabins, we the shed up here, the office, the entrance, changed the sign, we put a new sign up. So uh, people didn't even know there was sites down at the front gate. Mm -hmm. I started trimming those trees and found out they were really in good shape. So now there's there's shade trees there at the front gate. So we're trying to improve it. And if you look at my um, ranger in the back, I actually have a little snip about this long of a mesquite that has needles on it that long. That's what was at the front gate. So if you went off the road at the front gate, you were guaranteed to have a flat tire. You're a good SAM member. Yes. When did that happen? Two and a half years ago. Uh, we decided that, uh, actually January of 2015, this used to be a members only. And I, I said, we well, got to change the direction of the park. The direction of the park then became, it's going to be a family park. So how do you become a family park? You go to Good SAM. Good SAM does the the review and the rating system all throughout the country. That's right. So they came in here and they checked us out and they gave us a very, very high rating. Um, the one thing they nailed us on was we didn't have a lot of trees. And I'm thinking, well, we're in a desert, you know. <laughs> but, you know, they give us a good rating overall. And every year we pass and we're very proud of that. Now I understand that Woodall's, Passport America, AAA, everybody uses their rating system because everybody's cutting down on costs, so they don't want to send out another whole inspection to come up with the same conclusion. So Good Sam, we're very proud of it, and that's why we've got this flag here, and they give us new ones, because that won't even last three months with the winds. But yeah, that's been very, very helpful. So well, online people look for us on Good Sam. We found you online. Yeah. We feel, we, we the boys especially, they actually have a camp. Shane, come here. Shane and Landry and their mother have a camp back in Massachusetts on the lake. So okay. they spend the summers in a camper on the lake. Okay. Yeah. So they're comparing you to what they have there. And they love it at King's mm -hmm. Campground. So how do you feel about, about mm -hmm. what you see in here? Much friendlier and more dog friendly. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Definitely dog friendly, yeah. And, and just the, the people are very welcoming. And the reviews I've read about you were also that chose us, you know, we, we got to, we called you for the reservation, uh, were uh, very favorable. There was certainly Thank nothing you. negative. But I took, I made the decision that dogs are going to be allowed in the clubhouse, except when we were serving meals. Right. And we have one service dog uh, that comes in all the time, that's mm -hmm. Poodle. But I decided that was it because they're part of our families. <laughs> Most people that travel, especially full-timers, have some kind of pets. Absolutely. And so I decided that was going to be it. My partner said, thank you very much. Because she had a sharp A, and it was never allowed in here, even though it was her brother-in-law. So that was actually the, that was, I think, what turned the tide and made us uh, get better reviews. And more people then became, again, on the web, 
they understood that this is really a nice environment because three miles of trails, you can take dogs in that direction, up here, you the can go around. The major trails are three miles? There's three miles of trails. The uh, perimeter trail that I made is two miles. And then you have the crisscrosses that go across and you can exit like over here, you can come up, mm -hmm. you can exit over there. Mm -hmm. You can enter, you can do a third of the park today, you can do a third tomorrow. You keep we going. loved it. We've done it twice yeah. already. We, we, it was great. So we are talking to Paul Harrington, who owns the Desert Oasis RV Campground mm -hmm. in McNeil, This Arizona, is actually Mundkill, yes. Just outside of Bisbee, Arizona. We highly recommend this campground.